Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada and we are back for another school year and in today's video I'm going to tell you all about the new updates that were announced this summer for Google Classroom. One of the major updates that has come to Google Classroom this summer is that you can now sync your student information system with Google Classroom. So what this means for you as a teacher is instead of having to manually input all of your rosters and any co-teachers that you might have for Google Classroom, um, your IT department can now make it so that all that information is just automatically synced from your student information system into Google Classroom. So you should be able to just go right into Classroom, see your entire roster there, any teachers that you might uh, have like, in that class should automatically be added as well. And so if you don't see this now, uh, please make sure you send a copy of this video or in the description below, I have a link to this article as well as the step-by-step -step instructions for your um, admin, for your IT admin so that they can set this up because it's not automatically turned on, but this is available right now. So if you're looking in your Google Classroom and you have to put your students in, make sure you send this to your IT department. Another major update that came at the end of last school year, but I decided to put it in this video anyways in case any teachers missed it, is that school matches are now available in originality reports. So now you can keep a repository of student work within your domain, and anytime a student submits work through Google Classroom, you'll be able to check that work against all the other student work in your district. It's really important to note that the school matches are off by default, uh, but they can be turned on by your IT administrator. This feature is already available, so you'll be able to use this at the beginning of the 2021-2022 school year. It is available to the Education Plus customers, also available with the Teaching and Learning upgrade. It's not available to the Google Workspace Essentials, Business Starter, Business Standard, Business Plus, Enterprise Essentials, Enterprise Standard, Enterprise Plus, Education Fundamentals, Frontline and Nonprofits, as well as the G Suite Basic and Business customers. So while there are only a couple updates to Google Classroom this summer, they're both really important and helpful to teachers. Syncing the student information system with the Google Classroom will save teachers a lot of time in having to set up their classrooms. And having that originality report, being able to check all the students' work in your district is also really helpful and something important to tell students in the beginning of the school year to try to help uh, you know, teach about academic integrity, letting them know that you'll be able to see their work and match it against other students. Again, both of these do need to be turned on by your uh, IT administrators, so please make sure you coordinate with them. But for a complete list of other videos and updates to the G Suite that have happened over the summer, please make sure you check out the description below. And if you know of any teachers that might benefit from watching this video, please feel free to share this with them as well. And if you haven't already, please make sure you follow the EdTech Show, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn the notifications on so you get notified every time there's a new video. Uh, please follow me on Twitter at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.